This has potential to be one of the shortest favorites videos I've ever filmed, okay? I'm really excited to be sitting down and filming a favorites video. These are some of my favorite videos to film ever. But this month, I was on vacation for two weeks out of the month. So I didn't try a ton of new stuff. And if I did try something new, I wasn't able to wear it over and over and over again to be able to like have a solid opinion to put it in a favorites video. With that being said, I did try some really amazing things this month. And some of the things that I tried earlier this month, I'm gonna have to kind of keep testing and maybe they'll show up in next month's favorites video. So this is a very short condensed list of products, but I still wanted to film it to share with you guys what I've been loving most. So we're gonna start off with what I'm wearing on the eyes. This was probably my most worn eye look this month. And even though I did go on vacation, I actually did pack these two products in my bag and I went out to dinner to a nice restaurant twice. And this is the look that I did with my eyes every single time. So these are the liquid eyeshadows from REM Beauty. I have two shades, these are amazing. First up is the matte shade. This is called BRB. It's a really gorgeous kind of mauve pinky brown color. It's the base that I have all over my eyes. I recently posted an updated REM Beauty video. I will have it linked in the description box down below in case you missed it. I did a very in-depth video on my favorites and I tried everything else that I bought from the brand recently. So I'll have that down below if you want to see a full tutorial on this look because I talked about this there. Love this. So I blend it out all over the eyes and then I take a brush and I apply the shimmer shade called Fembot. This is stunning and this is what's all over my eyelid. It's an iridescent blue, purple, pink, shifty kind of a shadow and I personally love the two layered together. I think they're absolutely stunning and this is what I wore the most by far this month on my eyes. So I wanted to make sure to mention that. Also, within the REM Beauty line, I fell head over heels in love with this gloss. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do. It's the Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade VCR. This is actually the lip gloss that I have all over the lips on top of another lip combo that I fell in love with, which I'll mention in just a second. This has a really beautiful tingly formula, which I personally really like. If it's gonna be a plumping gloss, I wanna feel like it's actually doing something on the lips, like really plumping it. And I feel like I get that sensation with this gloss, which I love. The color is very flattering. I've worn this by itself and also topped it on top of other products like I did today. It works beautifully. I actually just recently placed an order again on REM Beauty and bought more shades in this. Actually, I think I just got one shade, but I'm excited to expand my collection of these because I've been loving it that much. It's so funny, I have mostly lip products to share with you guys now that I'm looking down at my little lineup here. I shared over on TikTok, I did like a little unboxing slash haul last month. I bought a few things off of Charlotte Tilbury's website and one of those things was the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk Medium. So we all know and love Pillow Talk Original. I'm obsessed with it. I've been using that lipstick and lip liner for years. I wanted to try out the medium shade and I think there's even one deeper shade that I might end up trying out eventually. But I wanted to try out the medium to see how I liked it. If I wanted that Pillow Talk vibe, but a little bit deeper for me personally. This is what I'm wearing all over the lips. I love this. I love that I get a little more richness in this color on my lips, but it still feels very Pillow Talk esque. It has that same very natural, approachable, your lips but better feel. But on me, this shade is a little bit more deep and a little bit more, um, I don't wanna say vampy, cause it's not vampy. It's still very much an everyday color, but it's a little more pigmented and a little more rich. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. In fact, I should go grab the original Pillow Talk so I can swatch the two. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my original Pillow Talk and then I've got Pillow Talk Medium. So you can see it's pretty different. Uh, let me swatch the original. So there's Pillow Talk Original, love this color. I'll swatch Medium right next to it. This has a bit more of a purple undertone, which I love. So here we go, you can see they're both, you know, a similar undertone, but this one is much more intense. So they really are two different types of lipsticks, two different tones, but it gives you a very similar your lips but better effect, like I was saying. 
I'm really happy that I picked it up. I've been loving it. And normally I don't wear this deep of a lip color. It's not even that deep, but um, normally I go a little more nude on the lips with an eye look like this. So I was wearing this with more of a subtle eye look to make it more of the focal point. I just love it. I do still think it works with a look like this, but I also love wearing it by itself for a little bit more of a lip focused, but still natural kind of a makeup look. So next up, I have a very interesting product to share with you guys. This is a lip balm. I have been searching high and low for a lip balm that is going to work, as well as the original formula from Bite Beauty. Um, I have a lot of lip balms that I use and love, but when it comes to an overnight lip mask type of product, where I wake up feeling like I actually have hydrated lips, it's taken me forever to find something ever since they reformulated the Bite Beauty one. However, my husband and I were researching some lip balms and he came across this and actually picked it up. He didn't love the texture of this, so I ended up using it all month long and I love how it makes my lips feel when I wake up in the morning. I will say it is a little bit of a more grainy texture, but you know, because it's effective, I still use it. So it's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm. This really works well, um, but yeah, I don't know if you can see, it's got quite a bit of a drier texture and it almost does have like a graininess to it, which I'll admit, it's not my favorite. And it almost has like a cooling sensation too, which is also not my favorite, but I keep using it because of how it works. I just feel like it really does work for me. And I live in a very, very dry climate. Here in Utah, I feel like especially before I go to bed, I have to really lather on the hydration. Otherwise, my lips or my face feel so dry when I wake up. So I really, have been enjoying this and I've put it to the test and find that it really does work. I, I wish that it had a slightly different texture, but it's been working really well for me, so I am happy about that. All right, next up I've got a little bit of a different product. I've been getting really into learning about the lymphatic system. So if you guys don't know, besides beauty, I'm kind of like a health nerd. I really love looking into and reading about health hacks and things like that. So I have been studying and researching a lot about the lymphatic system, which I could bore you about that, and I'm not going to. However, I have gotten into dry brushing in the past, and I've been dry brushing for a couple of years now. And um, earlier this month, a brand called Higher Dose sent me their dry brush. I immediately thought, oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful. And then I used it, and oh my gosh, not only does it look really pretty and nice, this is the best dry brush that I've ever, ever used. So many of the dry brushes that I've used in the past are um, very scratchy. Like they almost hurt and it's not supposed to hurt. Like you're not supposed to press too hard when you're dry brushing, but this really feels amazing on the skin. It's got that firmness so that you really do feel that lymphatic movement when you do use it. However, it's not too firm to where it hurts at all. It actually feels really, really nice. So this is the higher dose um, copper charged body brush. I think it's called something like that. I've been absolutely loving it. Um, Higher Dose also sent me their infrared sauna blanket, which I've been testing out and really enjoying. That's another amazing thing for your lymphatic system and it has so many other health benefits as well. So they sell this as kind of a companion to a sauna. You don't need a sauna obviously to dry brush, but it really does improve your lymphatic drainage when you use this and then sauna. So I've been really enjoying the combo, um, but I've also used this on its own before hopping into the shower and I just love it. I really do feel a difference when I dry brush um, and it also visibly changes your skin on the outside too over time. But for me, I just love how it feels to really get my lymphatic system moving and this is the most beautiful and comfortable dry brush that I've found and tried yet. I do actually have a code with them, I believe. When they sent this to me, they sent over um, a discount code. So I think it's Ally for 15% off if you guys wanna check out this brush or any of their other things on their website. I know it's kind of not a beauty product, but it is, you know? I feel like 
beauty from the inside out really matters and dry brushing is one of those things that I do notice a difference in how I look and feel if I'm consistent. So I wanted to share that with you guys as well because I was blown away by this, I love it. The last thing I wanted to mention is more of an honorable mention. So I was in Hawaii for two weeks, which I'm obsessed with Hawaii. I lived there for two years. I've already told you guys this before, but I lived there for two years, um, several years ago, and since then have visited over and over and over. And it's one of mine and my husband's favorite place to go. So obviously Hawaii is a very different climate than Utah, especially right now. It's literally snowing here and it's gorgeous and sunny and tropical in Hawaii. So while I was there, I did pack my makeup for those special nights out since we were there over my birthday. So I did get ready for those days. On every other day though, I didn't want to put makeup on. I ended up actually using this every single day. So I wanted to give it another shout out. I've talked about this before. It's the Elastin Hydro Tint Pro Mineral Sunscreen or like tinted sunscreen. It's like a tinted moisturizer, but I would put this on at the end of my morning skincare routine and it blurs and tints the skin so nicely and lasts all day. I would wear masks, I would go swimming, and I feel like it would never look makeup-y on my skin, but it would make me feel a little more confident, you know, going out with zero makeup on the entire day. It just kind of gently blurs the skin out. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it lasts really well. It's really, really nice on the skin and it does say that it's water resistant. Anyway, I really enjoyed this tinted sunscreen. This one is a mineral sunscreen, I believe, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. I'm pretty sure titanium dioxide is a mineral sunscreen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't find that this irritates my skin whatsoever and I just felt so beautiful wearing this. So I wanted to give that a little shout out. So those are all the things that I for sure loved this month. Like I said, I tried out quite a few new products but wasn't able to really test them out as much as I normally do while I'm here at home. But these products are the ones that I'm like so in love with right now. And even though it was a smaller list, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I always love sharing with you what I'm loving. By the way, I'm wearing this Elastin sunscreen all over the face and I just went in with like concealer and continued on with my normal routine. So it does work well underneath concealers and stuff like that if you ever wanted to use it as more of a base product. Just wanted to mention that as well. But yeah, I wanna know in the comments what you guys are loving this month. Let me know if we have similar favorites in the comments down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, just click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I upload a video. That's it from me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are. I love you all so much and I genuinely hope you're doing well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.